Hey everybody, I'm Lawson and I'm extremely popular because I have 2,378 close personal friends. Ooh, 2,379 friends, well, followers. Okay, people I sort of know or met once. One of my friends is Jar Jar? What kind of name is that? I don't, I don't know a Jar Jar. Anyways, today I've got a great story about a girl named Gemma in my aunt's sixth grade class and how she made some real life friends. See, Gemma's mom got transferred and they moved to a brand new town where the kids have already been in school for a whole month. And Gemma's super nervous because all the kids will already have friends and she won't fit in and they'll just ignore her like she's invisible. Then Gemma sees this girl Maisie walking to school and Gemma's like, look at her. She's got it all together. But mom reminds her that most kids aren't as confident as they look. And Gemma wonders, what will they think of me? And her mom tells her to focus on what others need rather than what they think about you. When Gemma gets to her first class, it feels like all eyes are on her. But Gemma chooses to keep her eyes off herself. Three minutes into Miss Freeman's lesson on Lewis and Clark, the girl beside Gemma, Maisie, breaks her pencil. Right away, Gemma reaches into her backpack and pulls out her extra pencil. Her big pencil. Her really, really big pencil. Eggs. Milk, candy, more candy. At lunchtime, Gemma sits alone and she's starting to feel really sorry for herself. But then she sees two other kids, Noah and Grace, looking for a table and invites them to sit with her. And Gemma even shares her dad's famous chocolate chip cookies with them. Dad uses cayenne pepper so the cookies have a little extra bite. And then after that, Gemma's right behind this other girl, Brooke. When Brooke drops her bag, spilling all her books and papers and the world's largest collection of ping pong balls, some kids start laughing at Brooke. But then Gemma jumps in right away to help. And then Maisie jumps in and Noah and Grace. And they get everything picked up in record time. And they all do a celebration dance. And when Gemma gets back in the car, mom gives her a thumbs up. A giant thumbs up. And Jim is actually excited to go back. So kids, never put cayenne pepper in cookies, but always do remember that friendship is using your words and actions to show others you care. Ooh. Ha. Oh, hey, my friend Paul posted this really cool picture of us from his birthday party yesterday. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like this. Actually, I'm gonna tell Paul I like it in real life. With this! Look how big it is! Okay, alright. Bye guys, I'll see you next time. Hey Paul!